Hi, it's Phil Harvey here from Light Reading, and we are at Mobile World Congress Los Angeles, and I'm speaking with Patrick Lopez from NEC. Uh, Patrick, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. How um, are you, Phil? I'm doing great, and uh, uh, congratulations, because uh, NEC was a winner of two of the Leading Lights Awards uh, for, uh, for the Open RAN uh, category and also for 5G Core. And um, that's a, it's, it's quite a feat, you know, to pull off uh, uh, two wins in a, in a single year. Um, so uh, how do you feel about the achievement and what's the general mood at NEC? Uh, ecstatic. Everybody was really happy uh, about the announcement. Um, I mean, we never doubted that we had great products, mm -hmm. uh, but it's kind of the combination of a lot of hard work from uh, uh, very large and diverse teams. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, NEC has been, from the very beginning, a strong supporter of uh, open and disaggregated networks. Mm -hmm. um, and we're starting to see uh, a little bit the, the fruits of that work starting to pay off now. Um, we've had some great commercial success with uh, our open run products uh, and our core products. And um, I think that we're starting to see a little bit that NEC is emerging mm -hmm. um, as a 5G vendor that uh, has uh, a product offering that is noticeable. Yeah, it was it was an interesting um, contest too because in our you know the way our judges were set up, we had independent judges you know judging each category, and uh, and, and to excel in both categories, I think says something about how far NEC has come. Um, what uh, what was what was sort of your your thoughts on um, you know the advantages that NEC had in the competition compared to the other finalists? Well, I think that uh, NEC took some very strong uh, decisions uh, on the development of its products, uh, where a lot of the industry has been developing products that uh, were uh, high performance, uh, and but were a little closed from an architectural standpoint. Sure. Um, on one end of the spectrum. And on the other end of the spectrum, we've seen vendors emerging with very innovative products, uh, but they didn't necessarily have the scale to uh, deploy uh, in large environments. Mm -hmm. um, NEC has been, uh, well, focused on creating products that had no compromise. Mm -hmm. uh, so high quality, uh, high performance, but at the same time, very innovative and fundamentally open, uh, which is, I think, what is true here, uh, what is new here, sorry, yeah. uh, is that, I mean, NEC had many, has many products in 5G uh, in basically all the domains that you can think of. Right. Um, but the company is also a committed supporter of open networks, so implementing open APIs and making sure that not only its product, but products from partners as well participate in the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. We believe that no single company really can deliver the promise on 5G by itself. Right. Um, so it's really, um, NEC, working with partners and providing choice, uh, but also providing products that are high quality, high performance, and fundamentally open. So that's why, for instance, for Open RAN, mm -hmm. we believe we have probably the only uh, radios right now uh, that are deployed commercially at scale that are Open RAN mm -hmm. and Massive MIMO and that are deployed in dense urban environments. Uh, and that's this approach to providing best of breed, uh, highest performance and quality, but fundamentally open, I think that set us apart. Um, and on the core side, uh, I think that we've seen our early successes with the deployment of our core uh, in a number of operators, first in Japan. Uh, that is the first uh, product of its category that is completely uh, uh, componentized microservice architecture uh, based on uh, basically a cloud native infrastructure. Um, and it has some of the highest performance in the industry. So we're starting to prove that the promise of having you know, cloud native products that are open mm -hmm. and that can be as performant or even better performance than a traditional architecture actually works yeah. and it's deployed commercially. That's what I think the, the you know, wowed the judges is the fact that there really wasn't a compromise. It was a, techno a, you know, a leading technology company that's both going um, for openness and performance and not giving an inch on either one. And I think that that's what really stood out. Um, how does NEC you know, aspire to continue to move the industry forward now that it's sort of uh, you know, reached uh, this far? Yes. I mean, you talked about massive MIMO and Open RAN. That's a technical achievement as well. So obviously, there, it's continuing to push forward. Uh, absolutely, and I think NEC, uh, from that perspective, maybe it's a, is a little bit of a different company. Mm -hmm. um, we don't make announcements 
six or nine months before product is launched with promises. Right. Uh, and that's why maybe not many people hear of NEC uh, until actually something happens. Uh, we, we make announcement when we actually have done uh, and we have delivered and we have proven that uh, that has wor worked well. Um, so there'll be more of that in the future. I think mm -hmm. that NEC is committed to lead uh, the 5G industry uh, in delivery uh, of uh, open uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. in every segment of 5G. Uh, and I think that um, you're going to see more of that also uh, through, you know, Netcracker is a wholly owned uh, subsidiary of NEC. Right. Yeah. Um, and basically bringing together automation mm -hmm. and orchestration across domains, we feel is going to be uh, not only necessary, but the key to unlocking uh, value for 5G. Uh, specifically, we think that uh, slicing end-to-end uh, -end, uh, automation um, is impossible without having a strong background in AI and machine learning, mm -hmm. but also um, have capacity beyond telecom. Right. Uh, and NEC is a large company that is present in a lot of different market segments and industries, you know, mm -hmm. healthcare, uh, biometrics, mm -hmm. uh, defense, um, uh, satellite communications. Yeah. Um, and we think that this vantage uh, allows us really to bring together uh, the telco knowledge, mm -hmm. the IT knowledge, the cloud knowledge, and the industry knowledge that is necessary to monetize 5G. That's a, a great way to sort of sum it up. It gave us, you know, the, the leading lights process gave us a lot to think about as editors as we're covering the industry. It's certainly changing rapidly. And, uh, and I think you guys are proof of that. So thanks. Uh, so congratulate. Thanks for being in the leading lights and congratulations again on the win. Thank you so much for having us and thank us. Thank, thanks a lot for those awards. Uh, I think it's, it's also a great uh, uh, encouragement for us to see that uh, we have uh, such reputable uh, 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 outfit like yours that are recognizing uh, all the efforts uh, and the achievements that NEC is making. So thanks a lot for that.